Morning Bulldogs. Time to kick off another beautiful Friday with your school news. I'm your host, Gabriella Giuliano. Hope you have all had a fantastic week and have all of your work done in time for the weekend. And while all of you are studying hard, we have one club at FPC that's been working like crazy, band. Some of you may not realize what it takes to be in band or what band really is besides just playing instruments. Want to know? Check this out. What is band? Band is like a group or organization in and out of school. And it's a lot of fun to come together and play music and hang out. It means being able to um, express yourself through all the music that you play. We're like a giant family. I love everyone in band. I don't know what I would do without them. My mom is out there saying, Tuba, yeah! Mom, come on. I love the kids. Honestly, I love like all of us. Like we're mean to each other half the time, but like when it comes down to it, we're the only ones allowed to be mean to each other. Teaching band is completely awesome because I just I love music and I love students. Being able to share the music and art of music with kids is an amazing thing and it's very enjoyable. Whoa, talk about dedication. I am sure all of you have one friend who's in band. So the next football game, you should swing by to check out their halftime show. I hear it's awesome this year. Speaking of football, let's throw it to Keone Grabowski with today's Sports Spotlight. Hey FPC, this is Keone Grabowski and today we're getting ready for some Friday Night Lights. FPC football is at home tonight against Mandarin. To get you up to date, we're going to show you some highlights from a bit earlier this season when FPC faced Matanzas and Seabreeze. On August 31st, the Bulldogs dominated Matanzas. FPC got on the scoreboard early with a five yard pass to Dustin Bowens in the first quarter, and they never looked back. The Bulldogs' running game was excellent against Matanzas. They had 217 rushing yards. Sophomore running back Jimmy Robinson ran for two touchdowns. Matanzas just didn't have a chance and FPC won 42-3. The following week, FPC squared up against Seabreeze High School in a hard-fought defensive game that went down to the wire. After the first three quarters, the Bulldogs were trailing by a score of 7-3. With 53 seconds left, running back Devontae Emanuel scored on a 5-yard run on 4th down. Seabreeze was shocked and FPC held on to the victory 11-7. We'll be seeing if the Bulldogs can pull off another home victory tonight against Mandarin. The game is at 7, so come out and support your Bulldogs. That's it for today's Sports Spotlight. Back to Gabby in the studio. Thanks for that, Keone. On to the news you should really know about for next week. Progress reports go out today. That's right. It's time for you guys to get down to work by the time report cards get out. Tuesday is the Variety Show at the Auditorium for $5 at 7 p.m. Go and check that out. It should be a lot of fun. There will be a visit from Florida Southern College on Wednesday. If you're interested, you can sign up in guidance. And finally, next week on Thursday and Friday, there will be no school for students. If you like this show, check out our page at facebook.com slash fpctvproduction for more cool stuff about the show. Have a fun and safe weekend, everybody. See you Monday.